What's up guys, Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com. So if you're anything like me, you sometimes have trouble when you push pull faces in SketchUp of the faces coming away kind of hollow, meaning it's not filled in as a face. This is a common problem when you're working with roofs and sometimes like door frames in SketchUp. So let's take a look at how to fix that. So just as a quick note, if you are interested in learning more about how to use SketchUp um, from an in-depth step-by-step standpoint, you might want to check out my SketchUp Essentials course. So that's my course that has detailed steps step-by-step -step instruction on exactly how to set up a SketchUp model, as well as live calls where you can ask questions like this one. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. But what you might have dealt with in the past, and roofs are probably the biggest place where I see this, um, is sometimes when you push-pull a face like this one, for whatever reason, it's hollow, right? So what you would expect it to do, right, if you had a triangle on the ground, so... So if you had a triangle on the ground, what you would expect is you would expect this to push pull back and just like thicken the whole thing, right? But for some reason, and I don't know if it's the face orientation or what, sometimes these show up as being hollow in the background. Well, there's an easy way to fix this with push pull, with the push pull tool active. And that is, if you look down at the bottom, notice how there's an option for control equals toggle, create new starting face. So what that means is that means that with this tool active, right? Notice how I have clicked I have not clicked and dragged. This is another reason to not click and drag. But if I tap the control key, notice how what that's going to do is that's going to create a new face right here while still making the same face on the back side. And so this also works for things like roofs like this one. So notice how when I push pull it back. Um, and again, I do not know what the cause is for this. I think it has to do with uh, looking for adjacent faces for orientation, but I'm not sure. But notice how if I tap the control key, what that's gonna do is that's gonna put me in create new face mode like this. So this will create a roof that has faces on the back side. So, uh, and I will link to a video down below where we talk a little bit more about create new face mode. Basically what it does is instead of push pulling and moving a face like this one, if you tap that control key with that tool active, what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a new face instead. So notice how now instead of moving the face that I had in here, it's creating a new face and moving upward from that, which can be really helpful for a lot of different things. Like if you wanna create things that taper, for example, um, and you're push pulling faces like this and you wanna create multiple pieces of geometry, that control key is really helpful. But another place where this can be really helpful is on things like walls. So for example, this window right here push pulls backwards and it's hollow and so we don't want that to be hollow so we're just going to tap the control key to fix that and again no idea why that works on some why some faces become hollow and some don't but there we go so if you want to learn how to use SketchUp, I talk a lot more about things like this inside of the SketchUp Essentials course, which I will link to on this page. We also have a live call tonight where you can come and ask your SketchUp questions. So if you register for the course right now, you can make that live call. We have those every couple weeks where we actually get together and talk through um, different SketchUp questions. We solve them live, other things like that. They're a lot of fun if you want to get together and talk about SketchUp. So if you do want to learn SketchUp, um, ask your questions, other things like that, make sure to check out the SketchUp Essentials course. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.